Sure. My name is Eileen and I'm with Pacific Time Zone. Fred and Sue are in San Diego with their um, son. It's a holiday in the States and I think in the UK. Um, so we may be a little holiday light today, but uh, we welcome everyone. We have um, at least one person that this is their first call. So I said, um, please uh, uh, show up another time because it will be different each um, time. So I just want to go ahead and um, welcome everyone and open us up in prayer. Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for this precious hour that's been set aside, Father, and I just have a sense it's going to be an hour, power hour of prayer. Father God, so your Holy Spirit is here. You know what you want us to pray into, what you want us to share, and above all, we pray that you'll be glorified by this time. Thank you for bringing your brothers and sisters across your, well, Yes, our brothers and sisters, your children across the globe, Father God, and it's just such an amazing opportunity that as we uh, hear about countries, we have a face and a voice that we can put to it, Father God, and as a mem precious member of your family. So we praise you, God, and we thank you in Jesus' most holy, precious name. Amen. Amen. Um, so I want to read um, from... Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, um, out of the passion. Um, now, my beloved, I have saved these most important truths for last. Be supernaturally infused with strength through your life union with the Lord Jesus. Stand victorious with the force of his explosive power flowing in and through you. So I'm just praying on the full armor of God, put on God's complete set of armor provided for us so that you will be protected as you fight against the evil strategies of the accuser. Your hand-to-hand -hand combat is not with human beings, but with the highest principalities and authorities operating in rebellion under the heavenly realms, for they are a powerful class of demon gods and evil spirits that hold this dark world in bondage. Can we say amen on that one? Um, because of this, you must wear all the armor that God provides you. So you're protected as you confront the slanderer, for you are destined for all things and will rise victorious. Put on truth as a belt to strengthen you to stand in triumph. Put on holiness as the protective armor that covers your heart. Stand on your feet alert, then you'll always be ready to share the blessings of peace. In every battle, take faith as your wraparound shield, for it is able to extinguish the blazing arrows coming at you from the evil one. Embrace the power of salvation's full deliverance like a helmet to protect your thoughts from lies and take the mighty razor sharp spirit sword of the spoken word of God. Pray passionately in the spirit as you constantly intercede with every form of prayer at all times. Pray the blessings of God upon all his believers and pray also that God's revelation would be released through, I'm gonna pray this plurally, through us every time we preach the wonderful mystery of the hope-filled gospel. Yes, pray that we may preach the wonderful news of God's kingdom with bold freedom at every opportunity, even though we are chained as a prisoner, we are his ambassador. And I just pray that over each and every one of us, Father, as we suit up and showing up so that we can shout out for who you are and all that you are. In Jesus' holy name, amen. I'm going to go ahead and um, attempt to pray, play our worship song. Um, so let's see here. Amen. Thank you, Chanel. Thank you, everybody, for sitting with us. Um, so our theme today is going to be pr praying for our family, and we're all part of God's family. And when I did a search for what songs would fit, of course, I was thinking uh, we are one in the spirit, but then this song came up. And so I thought, well, that would be a great uh, way for us to do that. Um, Shoshana, do we think that we have the interpreter going? Interpretation? Okay. I can, yes. Oh, it's not? Oh, okay. Okay. So Chanel, I don't know, but um, okay, we'll have to see what God's plan is on that one. I was wondering, is Shakar still on the call? 
Yes. Shikar, I was wondering if you would be in a position to maybe um, share a few minutes because so much is happening in Israel. If you might have something that you would share with us before we go into our call. So a, a couple of scriptures I have. Um, and I think, Chanel, can you put those in the chat room so that um, uh, if we can put, yeah, just put, just put the scriptures up. And also um, there's a request um, to maybe do communion at the end, which I would love to do. So if, um, if you can gather your elements, we can um, do that. So the scriptures, I will just, um, so, so what I envision we'll do is that we're going to look at that we are a family and we're going to share what is on our heart to pray for, okay? Whether it's a prodigal or someone with a health issue or some challenges that are coming up and we'll just unmute and, and pray around um, as if we were sitting in a prayer group for real and sharing our heart for prayer for one another. We were gonna do breakouts, but um, I think we're a small enough group that we won't need to do that today. So um, the scriptures are, so Proverbs 14, one through two, Every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish one tears it down with her own hands. He who walks in his uprightness fears Yahweh, but he who is perverse in his ways despises him. And then James 4, 1 from the Passion. What is the cause of your conflicts and quarrels with each other? Doesn't the battle begin inside of you as you fight to have your own way and fulfill your own desires? In Mark 3.25, if a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. In Isaiah 32, 17 through 18, the work of righteousness will be peace and the effect of righteousness, quietness and confidence forever. My people will live in a peaceful habitation in safe dwellings and in quiet resting places. And so I just want to... Um, lift up a prayer right now for for Israel and I would just ask anybody afterwards that wants to unmute and we'll pray for um for Israel Abba Father Israel is your chosen people Father God your beloved and Father we love Israel and Lord our heart breaks as we think of what has happened from the beginning of time with Israel but Lord we're in today and as we're studying the bitty beast beast um and to know what Israel will be facing. Father, through your scriptures, what you tell us, but Father, we're standing in the gap for Israel. We're standing in the gap for them with what is happening in their political situation, with the COVID situation, Father, with health, with the children, Father God, with families, with IDF. Father, we lift them up. We pray for divine appointments, for opportunities, as we've heard shared on this call in the marketplace or coming in contact with the neighbor father we just pray for those divine appointments for the body of christ to be able to witness and to boldly tell of you and the promises and your love for these precious children thank you father god so if anybody else would like to unmute and pray for israel I'm yes just i would you like to <laughs> Go yeah, ahead, just, uh, yeah, yeah, just since I live here for 15 years, uh, there are things that, that I would like to just uh, that we, 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 we yes. pray together. So, Father, I bring the battle of the Messiah uh, in Israel before you, Father, Father, and I pray, Father, that you, uh, that you, you, you uh, wake your body here, Father, and you cleanse your body, Father, Father, we pray for all these uh, a new age that we have a people, you know, uh, uh, confessing Yeshua as their Lord and Savior, but they're they are still involved with the new age or a false religion. Father, we do pray for a, for revelation, Father. In the name of Yeshua, Father, you said that we cannot serve two masters. So I do pray for, for those in the body, Father, to be uh, 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 delivered, Father, for from uh, deception in all these false religions, Father, in the name of Yeshua, Father, 
pour out your spirit of revelation, Father, in cleansing, Father, in the name of Yeshua, Father, we pray, Father, and position us here, Father, in the land, Father, as your, as your arm, Father, in the name of Yeshua, Father, I pray, amen. amen. Lord, you've asked us to stand with Israel, and we do that gladly tonight. Your word says in Psalm 107, verse three, uh, 1, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Thank you, Lord, that you are good, and your faithful love endures forever. So, Lord, we give you thanks, and we honour you, and we, we, we lift up Israel, and we say, Lord, you are Lord. And whatever happens in your timing, Lord, we claim it to be held back for your timing and that the government will be the government you want it to have yes. and that people will come back to the land, Lord. We pray for Alia and more room for that in Yeshua's name. Amen. Father God, my simple prayer this for um, your chosen people, your servant. But Father God, you would redeem the nation and the people of Israel, Father God, from all their troubles on a political level, economic level, social level, and religious level, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. And Lord, we pray for the believers that your joy will be their strength at this time of need, that you will be their protection. And for those who don't know you, we pray that your spirit will lead them to you. And those who are going through loss of loved ones, those who have been injured in the war, we pray that your healing will come speedily upon them and they will be strengthened in you. We thank you for the elders in the land. Protect them and you show up your blessings upon them, Lord. And those who may be experiencing trauma of wars, that your hand will be their comfort. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I thank you for Israel. Israel is your chosen country. It's where you were born. You lived, taught, died for us on the cross and rose again. And you're coming back to take us to, to your place that you are preparing for us. Lord, I just pray for the Jewish race that, that, is in, um, that is in Israel currently. I pray, Lord Jesus, that they turn face and give their lives to you because it's only through you that they can, that they can reach the Father. And Lord, I just pray, as Eileen said, we stand in the gap for the, for the, is, um, for the people in Israel um, to be prepared um, for the preparation of what is to come that is in scripture. It is going to be horrible, but we Lord, Lord, we stand with Israel and we look and we look to you for our salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. So we pray for the peace of Israel. We ask that Lord you come to them. He does that we advance the kingdom of God to feed us, that we know the Lord and transform that nation to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for those who are suffering. We ask that the heaven will open over their lives in the name of Jesus. We pray that Lord you will use this situation of God to advance your kingdom in that land. In that land. Many will come to know Yeshua in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Father, on behalf of America, I just, I ask your forgiveness for what is happening with uh, anti-Semitism in our nation and with our youth. Father God, please, God, forgive us. Forgive us and open up the eyes of your body of Christ, your church, and of the youth and of this country. Father God, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. I also stand as a Canadian Father God, and I repent for the anti-Semitism that has um, risen in recent days, in recent weeks, and in recent months, Father God. I repent on behalf of the nation of Canada, Lord, that, Father God, we would realign ourselves as a nation.
are the God that is totally aligned with biblical truth and with regards to your love for the nation and the people of Israel. May the Jewish people in Canada, Father God, feel at home here and not feel that they have to be on the edge. Father God, I pray for a decrease, a de-escalation of anti-Semitism across Canada, Father God, and that, that people within Canada, Father God, would hold and love and befriend the Jewish people in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we ask for your forgiveness over the outright bias in the media against Israel during the recent siege, Father, with the war with um, the ongoing war with Palestine, Father, and Gaza and the Golan Heights. Father, it, it, in Australia, it was all about Gaza being hit by Israeli, and it was the start the other way around, Father, for those who know the truth. And Father, we thank you for the Israeli Defence Force, Father. We thank you for um, the Iron Dome, Father, and the accuracy and the young women uh, manning those um, weapons, Father, and the computers, Father, and the accuracy of that and the protection that it gave so many um, uh, thousands of people in Israel, Father. And Lord, we repent of, of the situation, Lord, that it's shown absolute um, positivity of Palestine and it should should be the fact that Israel has always been and always will be uh, a nation, a state of Israel. So we pray you're um, leaning towards people's understanding of the state of Israel, Father, and uh, we ask for your forgiveness for the, the mainstream bias, Father, with that in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Lord, that above all of these things, Lord, you will have your way. And your word is quite clear that um, first you'll send the fishermen and then you'll send the hunters. And Lord, we, we cry out to you for your people spread all over the nations. And Lord, these uprisings of anti-Semitism, Lord, I pray that it will as Amos said, shake your people in a sieve, that they'll begin to see that they're not comfortable and they're not safe wherever they are. Lord, that you will call them, call to their deeps and call them back to their land. Lord, we, we pray that before there are hunters, Lord, that you will call your people back to your land and that they can find you there in in that land and they can go and settle and we thank you lord that lord you have your purposes and these um demonstrations lord we thank you that they didn't seem to come to much that was an answer to prayer but nonetheless lord just the threat of them lord i pray that it will be something that will be like a an unsettling to your people um, all over the world in yeshua's name amen amen Amen. Shikar posted um, in the chat, there's a call that will be at, at the hour. So like in 25 minutes and it's a separate number, but it's every Monday morning, Tuesday evening. All right. Yeah. Or Monday evening, I guess, um, for Israel, it, it is on this separate line. So that's the call that is specifically for Israel. So I'd encourage you to, to join in that if you can. Um, so our focus is praying for the family. And I had different ways how that might happen, but I feel like the Lord just kind of changed things a little bit. And I'm thinking that if we um, will go ahead and pray first for salvations, and then for prodigals, and then for healing. So you may have a prodigal in your family. You may know some that you are praying for salvation, or there may be something that you would want prayer for. So we can bring that forward. And then um, at about uh, maybe five till, then um, Hannah's going to go ahead and lead us in communion. So um, we'll just start out. Um, so I'm just going to say, you know, Abba Father, we want to pray for salvation. Your word says that you desire that none should perish. So Father, last night we were sharing about the Muslims. Um, and Father God, as Marco has said, um, 
you know, love the Muslim, hate Islam. So, Father, we pray for, and we pray for those that don't even know your name, Father God, in, in this world. Father, let us be bold. Let us be courageous in sharing you would your holy spirit just infuse us as we're salt and light as we go about our day father god that somebody's going to say that person's got something different i wonder what that is lord even if we're in our church you know let us be salt and light and let us be uh someone that can be praying for the salvation for our neighbors for our friends for our family thank you lord so anyone else that wants to pray for salvations Um, I would like to pray, Eileen, for family unit. Mm -hmm. And um, there are some who, who declare that they are saved, but they are not walking in that light. So, Father, I want to pray for these families, Lord God, where decision has come in, Lord God, with different opinion or because of something they have heard and they did not agree. And so they are not walking in unity with their husband or with their wife. Father, for these people, I pray, Lord God, that these people can't stay anymore with one foot in the word and one foot in the Lord. So, Father, I pray that you will give them a direct revelation of your love for them, your truth, Lord God, from your word, that they will seek your word. And, Lord, that they will find people in their lives who will speak to them, a pastor or a fellow person in the fellowship, whatever, Lord God, you, you have on your heart, even a friend, Lord God. And, Father, we thank you, Lord God, because you have as we said, a heart for all the people that all should know you and truly know you and they will no more time for playing around, Father. Father, we thank you and we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For families, Lord. Amen. Keep them united, Lord. We know, Lord God, that there is a big agenda from the enemy, Lord God, to divide the family. So, Father, we say and we declare, touch not God's anointed and may the families be united even more than before because of the love of the Lord in their midst. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. From Revelation chapter 3, verse 18, I just declare this over the body of Christ across the nations. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white, white garments that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. Verse 20, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in with him and dine with him and he with me. Father God, I ask that the church of Jesus Christ across the nations of the world will desire to buy spiritual gold from you in this season. Amen. 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 I'd like to read from Hebrews 3, 3, starting just some portions and then pray into it from Hebrews 3, 3 and other portions but jesus deserves far more glory than moses just as a person who builds a house deserves far more praise than the house itself for every house has a builder but there but the one who built everything is god moses was certainly faithful in god's house as a servant his work was an illustration of the truths god would reveal later but christ as the son is in charge of god's entire house and we are God's house if we keep our courage and remain confident in our hope in Christ. But that is why the Holy Spirit says today, when you hear his voice, don't harden your hearts. And then in verse 12, be careful then, dear brothers and sisters, make sure that your own hearts are not evil and unbelieving, turning away from the living God. You must warn each other every day while it is still today so that none of you will be deceived by the sin and hardened against God. For if we are faithful to the end, trusting God just as firmly as when we first believed, we shall share in all that belongs to Christ. Remember what it says today, when you hear his voice, don't harden your hearts. Father, thank you for this warning you give us, Lord, as the family members of the body of Messiah. Lord, we pray that as part of the household of God, of which Yeshua is head over this household. Lord, we pray that we would listen to your Holy Spirit daily, that we would pray in accordance to the will of God. Lord, we pray that we will hear your voice and answer with obedience. And Lord, we pray for the salvation of those who think they're saved in the family of God and those who have no idea what it means to be part of the family. Lord, would you draw them by the, your Holy Spirit? Would they hear the good news? 
May it go forth from your people, Lord. Would you also turn the hearts of those who think they're okay, but are not okay, Lord. We pray that they would return, return home as the prodigal, Mm -hmm. return home to the father, that they would remember how good he is, just as was prayed in the psalm, that he is a good father and his ways are are the best ways, Lord. Would you take your people that are lost and confused and staining against your will, Lord? Would you encounter their hearts because of your mercy, your mercies that are new every day? Would you cause them to look and remember the goodness of their father, that they would return home and place their hearts and their whole lives in submission to Yeshua? Lord, would you unite the family again? Unite the family so that they would stand in unity and in love. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Father, I pray for Jewish people in America who don't know you and who are so deceived and have such a liberal, progressive mindset and don't realize what they're saying or doing. I, I, that that if they knew that they were agreeing with the very people that they escaped from in other countries and times past, that their grandparents would just be appalled at how they're believing now. And yet, Father, they're so adamant and they're so set in their ways and they're so sure that they're right and they're so hateful towards anybody that disagrees with them. Father God, forgive 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 we repent for them lord we identify with them and repent for them in the name Mm -hmm. of yeshua lord god and Mm -hmm. we ask for mercy for for their blindness lord god for their Mm -hmm. contempt for them not recognizing you and loving Mm -hmm. you uh your son yeshua as who as 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 the king of kings and lord of lords father have mercy on on Mm -hmm. these american jews lord god nationwide who who just don't get it and even have mercy on those who have come part way they have some they have some light Mm -hmm. they can see that this government right now this present government is set against israel they can see that but they can't see yeshua yet lord we pray for the veil to fall we pray for the anti-semitic system and uh, spirit rather behind rabbinic judaism to be for that veil to be rent and for jewish people to see Mm. that the rabbis don't have answers that men Mm. do not have answers that Mm. that man doesn't have answers that it's it's god who has answers and 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 that the rebellion would stop or god that that it would stop and just pray for revival for our jewish brothers and sisters for them to embrace who you are lord and i I just pray especially right now for the united states of america there's so many jewish people here we have relatives in israel lord god but we're here for now for such a time as this and if we weren't here who knows what would happen to the united states and so we pray for light in the name of yeshua amen amen would mute, mute unless you're um, praying, okay? All right, okay. Father, we just want to thank you because you're faithful to your word and you watch over your word to perform it. We thank you that uh, you're mindful of Israel. There are so many enemies, as you said in your word, that many will raise against Israel. But we know that you are God of Israel and that you don't sleep or slumber according to your word. So we are going to stand on that word and we're going to pray that you will stand against the very forces of darkness that will come against your people because that's you God that we are believing in. And we want to pray that you open the eyes that of those who are blind and Semitism the hatred that Satan has put in people's hearts as it were. When Jesus Christ walked in the world, the point where they killed him, we know that it is the same warfare, but you who overcame and Israel still stands as a nation, they're standing with you today. And we are declaring that your victory will come forth because it's not the arms of flesh, it's 
it's not the warfare of mankind, but we know it is spiritual warfare and you're going to win. So we pray for courage, we pray for strength, we pray for forgiveness, we pray that the, the, the Jewish believers will stand in a place of forgiveness even when the battle is hot, even when it is so difficult, they'll forgive those who hate them and they'll pray for them that their eyes will be open. We thank you for every believer across the world. I know everybody's praying, those who know the covenant of Israel with God, they're raising their voices to you and we join them this morning and this evening and we pray that let peace be still and that we shall see your salvation at this time of need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I wanted to pray for all prodigals and um, really just anyone who's been a victim of sexual abuse as a child. And they maybe have not spoken that out yet. So um, I just pray, Lord, for all those who have been abused no matter how old they are now, that they would hear your voice, that you would bring someone into their life who's a believer who they could confide in to begin the healing process. And we ask, oh Lord, for all those who have been victims, who have then turned and victimized someone else and who are in remorse. Lord, I ask that they will be able to unburden themselves, that they will be able, if at all possible, to seek reconciliation and for healing, Lord, and forgiveness. Lord, these wounds are deep, but you can clean them. You can heal them. Nothing is impossible for you. And for all of our prodigals around the world, Lord, especially those that belong to believers. We ask, Father, that now would be that moment when they realize in the pig pen that they need to go home to their father, that they will be willing to be your servant, which we all need to be anyway, but they would have that humbling moment and that now is the time that they would return and start coming home. And I just thank you, Lord, for the amazing testimonies and praise reports in advance. We thank you, Lord, that I ask that you give all prodigals today a double portion, a double portion that you restore everything the enemy has taken from them sevenfold, that you quicken their understanding, their learning, and, and that you, O oh Lord, would do a mighty work in them. We thank you for this end time harvest in advance in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Roberta, if if you're on, could you pray into all those that have been touched by the by abortion? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Father, Father, we bring before you all these um these ladies, Father, that are had an abortion, Father, Father, we do pray that uh, you uh you heal their hearts, Father. We bring them to this place of freedom, of shame, of uh, of pain, Father. In the name of Israel, Father, I know, we know, Father, that you are a merciful God, Father, that you indeed forgive. And I do pray for these ladies that uh, you bring them to this place, Father, of healing, of forgiveness, of uh, deliverance, Father. In the name of Yeshua, Father, we pray that, uh, Father, we pray uh, uh, beauty for ashes, Father, oil of joy for mourning, and the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness over them, Father. In Yeshua's name, we pray, Father. Amen. 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 We have time for a few more prayers before we go to communion. I just like yes, to pray. I Yes, go ahead. Sorry, no, I just had it before in my heart to pray uh, for the prodigal also. And uh, and somehow in the Bible, the prodigal, you know, he went to this uh, low place. But today, somehow we see our siblings, they're having a good life. And sometimes 
it's hard for them, you know, like to seek God. And uh, so anyways, I, so Father, we bring our families or, or, or siblings or family members before you, Father, and your, your word said, Father, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you, Father. Father, we will not withhold any, any good from us, Father, when we walk with you. So we do pray that you will... Uh, uh, bring our, our family members, those that are they're just, you know, pursuing uh, to buy a house, to have their PAG, everything is is fine, Father, but we do pray that uh, your kingdom, Father, will be a prior priority in their lives, Father, in the name of Yeshua, bring them to this place, Father, that uh, to seek first your kingdom and its righteousness, Father, and all all things you, you shall add unto them, Father, in the name of Yeshua, we pray, Father, is your Holy Spirit there bring, brings conviction? We pray, Father, that uh, the perfect work of your Holy Spirit in, in, in inside of them, Father, in the name of Yeshua, Father, we pray, Father. And we thank you that uh, for your protection over them, Father. We thank you, you send your angels to protect them in this time, Father. And we do pray, Father, we claim them, Father, to walk with you and seek your kingdom, Father, when they are here on earth, Father. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Amen. And anybody else? Yeah, me, Heavenly Father. We uh, we also like to pray also for um, our prodigal sons. I've got three that need to come back to you Lord, and their families. And Lord, um, yeah. Thank you, pardon. Oh. Okay. Yes. Bring bring them back to you lord jesus and and um, destroy the snare of the the father of lies over their lives open their eyes lord bind the stronghold and the strong man in them so that your truth may filter in and their eyes will be open to your truth that that will destroy the lie and deception that they have lived and believed in we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And can I pray um, yes. about this opportunity in California? I think it's California. Or it's um, about the Roe versus Wade direct challenge, which is an historical thing that's happening uh, in relation to the review of the Mississippi ban on the procedure after 15 weeks of pregnancy. It's in America. Is everyone aware of that? It's like a major thing that's happened in the news. It's a direct challenge on the abortion bill of Roe versus Wade. I presume some of the American Christians tonight and some Australians are aware of that. Yeah, sure. And you want to pray into that? Are you aware of that, Eileen? Um, somewhat, yeah. Um, and there's no doubt Satan is just furious and livid Absolutely. and screaming demons. So it's kind of like things of spiritual warfare has just really ramped up. Yeah. So Abba Father, we just thank you for letting us be aware of what is happening. We thank you for those that are standing up farther for righteousness. And Father God, as we just put this time of uh, praying for um, our families together. Father, we pray against the laws that have been put in place that are against your will and against what your word says. Father, we, we pray that things can be undone and can be reversed. And we give you the glory for that. Father, as we pray for our, our husbands, our wives, our sons, our daughters, our grandchildren, our aunts and uncles, our grandparents, Father God, as we pray for their salvation, as we pray for them to return to you, Father God, as we have heard testimony over the months, Father God, of how you have used us to bring salt and light into others and to prodigals to return. Father, we pray right now for those that you will put in the lives of our loved ones and our prodigals, Father. We don't know their names. We don't know where they're from, but God, we just stand in faith that you're going to put a believer in their path and through your holy spirit they will come back to you or they will come to call you yeshua father god we thank you and we praise you in advance and we give you all the glory and we so look forward to praise and testimonies and joyful rejoicing father god thank you lord thank you father god thank you thank you everyone Amen. so if you have your elements um 
Hannah will lead us in communion and close us out with a blessing. Okay, I just wanted to raise one thing before we go into communion. Last night, I had a bit of trouble getting into my breakout room, but once there, someone had brought up that a number of our members on the Global Watch have COVID that are in Washington. And uh, before I went to sleep and was praying into this, I wondered if these are some of the people hosting the summit coming up in June, because uh, I had a sense this was a, a very strong attack, very strategic. So just for a quick yes. moment, yes. Father, we just stand with our brethren who are undergoing this attack right now, and we call them to arise in the finished work of Yeshua HaMashiach in his death and resurrection, to rise up in who they are in divine health, to shake off this attack, to stand against it, to realize where it's coming from, and to absolutely refuse every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of COVID, every spirit of attack that's coming against them. So we plead the blood of the perfect Pesach lamb over their lives, Father. And we speak health, be healed, health into your bodies right now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Hannah. Amen. So Lord, what a privilege to have this time together this morning to get to know each other better, to hear people's hearts. And Father, we just, we come before you Again, to remember, to remember the sacrifice, this incredible sacrifice and what it means for us right now as we walk into the end times. Yeshua, on that, that day, that night, that evening, <laughs> that he chose, and it was not an easy choice. We want to think on and meditate on what it meant in that garden as he wrestled this out in his flesh and to remember that for three hours in his body, soul, and spirit, he took on all the evil that exists. He carried it in himself and he did that warfare for us and for all eternity. And we remember and we give thanks. And we know as we lift up this bread, as we take this bread and honor it as a symbol of his body, that he took beating, he took whipping, he took piercing, and ultimately he laid down his life. And so as part of the body of Messiah in the global watch, we give thanks for your sacrifice, Yeshua. We give you thanks. We praise and honor you. And we want to partake together of all that this means. And not just to remember, but as Ephesians says, I mean, I, I, I did a study once, Father, and just realized that 10 times you speak in that little book that in union with Messiah, in union with Messiah, we can walk through these days. And that number 10 is the number of authority. It's the number the Ecclesia needs to grab onto tightly. And that's what you're doing in our midst right now. Father, you're raising up an Ecclesia that will know who they are and walk in the level of authority this sacrifice purchased. So thank you. And we partake together. Thank you, Yeshua. Father, also at that time, your son's blood was shed in many ways, with the thorns upon his brow, with the way they pierced his hands and feet, with the way blood ran down on the ground because no one understands the way you do, Abba, how defiled the land is. But now with all the blood that's been shed over all the nations, Lord, there's also the blood of the lamb that cries out. And we would lift this cup today together in unity because we remember the power of the perfect Pesach lamb's precious blood that it is still alive, it holds life force, and it always will. 
And we remember this and we partake together because we know this is what washes clean. This is what allows us to do warfare. This is what will cleanse the land. This is symbolic of so many areas of our walk. And we lift it up. And we give thanks. I'm sorry, I always get so emotional around this, but we give you much thanks, Yeshua, for your incredible sacrifice and for the power of your blood. Amen. So just before we go, I would bless you out of um, Ephesians chapter 5. I just want to read over everyone. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, therefore pay careful attention to how you conduct your life. Live wisely, not unwisely. Use your time well, for these are evil days. So don't be foolish. Try to understand what the will of the Lord is. Father, I just pray that over all my brethren today, that the days are evil. But God, you have given us revelation. And Father, we want to be wise virgins. And we want to live these days in honor of this sacrifice. We want nothing that you did to be in vain in our lives. And so we go forth seeking you today, walking with you today, tuning our ears as so many people prayed today to hear your whispers and your voice and to align with you. I just speak a blessing over every single person that's on this call. Be blessed in union with Yeshua this day. Amen. We want to pray for all those in the Global Watch and um, Fred and Sue. And let's just Unmute everybody, unmute. And as Fred says, we'll just say bye and love on everybody. Thank you all so Thank very you. much. Okay, God Thank bless you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Thank you, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Margaret. Bye, Bye Margaret. Bye. Bye.